Hello. What is up, you guys? It's Jalen. I'm alive. I'm back again with another YouTube video. How are you lovely humans doing? It's so nice to see you. I have been wanting a pet scorpion for a while. Um, I had been wanting one ever since mine died, honestly, as a child. Um, I used to have an emperor scorpion growing up. Uh, I had her for multiple years. Um, and then recently I have had the urge in me to have another scorpion. Um, I want my own little sharp baby. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna wait until the opportunity presents itself to get my own scorpion. I'm not gonna like go out looking for one. I'm just gonna wait for the universe to bring one to me essentially. So I was with my gang um, out at my friend's lake house and we were looking for a beer pong table or like a floating, floating um, plank that we could use in the lake to play beer pong on. Uh, so we went to an Ace Hardware store and I saw a cricket walking on the ground. And I was like, I know what that cricket is. That's a feeder cricket. That means they have lizards here somewhere. As I would, I went to go search for the lizards. Lo and behold, I was correct. They had lizards, hermit crabs, and a scorpion. One Asian forest scorpion. So what did I do? I waited for the universe to bring me an Asian forest. Well, I waited for the universe to bring me a scorpion. And I was presented a scorpion at an ace hardware what are the odds i was like i have to buy her she's only 25 dollars. she's mine people that work there were too scared to get her out so i had to get her <laughs> for them um but anyway i came home with an asian forest scorpion that day and so i would like to give you guys all of the info and stuff that i have discovered while owning one like my opinion on owning an asian forest scorpion um versus like an emperor scorpion and the benefits and dislikes and whatever. So if you guys are interested in knowing my opinion on having a pet Asian forest scorpion, then keep watching. I would like to start off this video by telling you guys that they are nocturnal. So I would like to show her to you, but I will be waking her up. So she's going to be pissed off and confused. But yeah, I'm going to take her out and show you anyway. Um, I'm sorry, Hades. I do apologize. Oh, her name is Hades, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to wake her up and show her to you guys. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. Oh, it's a little baby. Look at the little baby. Good morning, Hades. So I like to tap her with a paintbrush so she knows I'm not gonna like beat her up, you know? Hi, good morning. Oh, she's so angry. It's just me. It's okay, baby. Good morning. I'm sorry to wake you up, but you have to be in a YouTube video. I do apologize. I will get you a cricket afterwards. I'm sorry. So angry, look at how angry she is, oh my goodness. As you guys just witnessed there, um, they're a particularly defensive species, they're very territorial. So if you're looking for a scorpion that you can like handle frequently and that's friendly, I know a lot of people don't think that friendly and scorpion go in the same sentence together, but actually emperor scorpions are really, really friendly um, in my opinion. If you know how to read their behavior and know what you're doing and are educated on scorpions, I think emperor scorpions are great. They're great pets, super easy, low maintenance. Also, this guy is this girl, guy, don't know. Also low maintenance and easy. Um, if you're looking for a docile scorpion, um, it depends on the personality of your Asian forest scorpion too, because like I said, in their nature, they tend to be pretty defensive. Mine, when I wake her up, I feel bad because she's nocturnal. When she's like out walking around in her enclosure at night, um, then it's like easier to pick them up and like say hello. I don't take her out very frequently because she's not the biggest fan of it and I don't want to offend her, but I can take her out if I want to. Um, I have a glove that I wear. I wear this glove when I'm scooping her out. But once I have her out and she's walking out, walking out, walking around on me, um, then she's fine. Like, it's just the getting her out of her enclosure, that's the hard part because she is pretty defensive. But when she's like out, like walking on my arms, my hand and stuff, then she's fine. If you know what you're doing with scorpions and you want a scorpion that you can handle, they're not the biggest fan of being handled, but if you know what you're doing, you can handle them. Also, they are venomous. People always ask me, 
Do they take their stingers off? No, I've never, never in my entire life have I seen a scorpion without a stinger. I have always owned scorpions. Well, I had one scorpion prior to this one. The scorpion that I had before this, she had a stinger. This one has a stinger. There's just kind of the risk that you're taking if you're getting a pet scorpion. I mean, they got stingers. Just don't get stung. If you know how to read the behavior, like just don't get stung. Um, like I said, I tap her with a paintbrush first, um, just to kind of like let her know that I'm not out to get her and I'm not gonna beat her up. Make sure that she knows that I'm not trying to eat her or anything. So I'm gonna get her out and show her to you guys. All right, I just got her out. I have her on the glove. She's still a little bit in defense mode. So I'm gonna wait for her to chill out before I put her on my hand. Yeah, there we go. Now her stinger's down. And you can see that she's calming down a little bit. Okay, honey. They do have scary stingers though. Like that, that shit is sharp. But he's okay. <laughs> I still think you're cute. They don't mind. Okay, while she hangs out on me, I'll just tell you a little bit about how I think they are as pets. I personally find like arachnids and any type of like insect pet very low maintenance. I love reptiles and insects. They're super low maintenance. You just put their enclosure together. Um, these guys burrow. So you do need like a pretty deep enclosure. I can do an enclosure video. Make their enclosure look nice. Um, do research on the type of environment that they live in. Make them have a pretty enclosure. They like having places to hide. She has this um, little mushroom enclosure that she likes to hide in. Enclosure? She like, has this little mushroom stand thing that she likes to hide in. Um, she's always in her little mushroom. Make sure they have enough room to burrow. Um, I think it's like at least six inches of substrate. Their enclosure is super low maintenance. You just throw in some eco earth and some stuff where they can like climb on and they need like a shallow water dish so they don't drown. I feed her crickets once a week. She eats like four to five crickets once a week. Um, I was getting her six initially, but I noticed there would just be like dead crickets left in her enclosure at the end of the week. So I just started getting her like four to five. I think they're really low maintenance pets. I think scorpions are great pets. Um, if you know what you're doing, Know how to handle them if you're trying to handle them. Don't get stung. I've never been stung by her, knock on wood, but she usually pinches first. So I get like a warning with her pinchers, but she pinches the paintbrush because I, I'm not gonna stick my raw hand in there to get pinched. She'll like pinch me. And then she, once she realizes the pinching doesn't work, she usually runs away and she's like, oh my God. And then she just runs. I think they're so, such great, fascinating animals. Um, I think she's beautiful. I love the animals that people are scared of. Um, I noticed that not a lot of people are like educated on scorpions. They always think that like every type of scorpion is gonna kill you if you die, if you die, if you get stung. This particular type of scorpion, there have been no recorded deaths from an Asian forest scorpion sting. Hey, it's future editing Jalen. Um, I just wanted to fact check myself on that because I don't want to be like, nobody died and then somebody died, but nobody did. I was correct. And it says, Google says, it's likely you'll feel it, but it shouldn't cause any real damage. Symptoms of a sting can include redness and some tenderness or swelling. So, you know, die. He's okay. Usually what happens is if you get stung by a scorpion, you're allergic to it, similar to a bee sting, then you're, you might run into some problems if you're allergic to it, um, but people tend to not be allergic to this type of scorpion. If you get stung, it's gonna feel like a pretty gnarly bee sting. Um, just don't get stung, not that hard. I think they're great pets. I love her very much. I think she's adorable. Super low maintenance, like I said. So, okay, let's make a list of pros and cons. Here are your pros. They're really low maintenance. They're pretty. They're cool. They're fascinating. Easy to feed. Easy to take care of. Cons. You might get stung. Don't get stung. Um, <laughs> I don't really, there's not really a lot of cons to owning a scorpion. Like just, I mean, they can be spooky to like some people, but like just know what you're doing. I'm gonna put her on my hand so you know she doesn't hate me. Come here. You don't fall. Go on my hand. I have no idea if she's male or female. I tried to sex her. You sex them by like flipping them over and there's like these little things on their chest and the male and females are different, but I can't really flip her over and nor do I want to. Um, I don't really care to know what she is. I'm not trying to breed her. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, there we go. There we go. I have the baby here. Look at the baby. She's so beautiful. I love her very much. I think she's so cute. This is Hades. I don't really know what else to say other than the fact that I think they're really low maintenance and great pets. Um, if you're looking to get a scorpion, this is your sign to get a scorpion. Do your research. Don't just get one just for and giggles.
do your research before you get any type of animal. Anyway, that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you are not already. Um, I will put all my social media links and stuff in the description below. And I hope you guys have a lovely day. Let me know if you want to see a scorpion enclosure video. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios.